Hey, what's up guys? This is Miguel from Espera from Madrid and today I'm at this beautiful two-bedroom apartment located in Calle del Angel. This is in the neighborhood of La Latina and well, it's actually in between both uh, metro stations La Latina and Puerta de Toledo. Either of them are at about maybe six, seven minutes walking from here. But guys, La Latina is one of the coolest neighborhoods in the city. It's filled up, the street itself is, is filled up uh, well, I hope uh, everything is okay, but everything, uh, well, the area itself is, it has a lot of bars, restaurants, like I said, it's a very popular area, and in this street itself, actually, there's like a, um, like, you know, parties that happen uh, in mid-August, and that's in between this street, so it's a lively area, but other than, you know, other than those specific weeks, um, everything is super quiet, I'm going to show you the street, of course, from here. Uh, we are at the second floor, so that also helps. So even though we are at a lively city, the apartment itself is very quiet, peaceful. It has a lot of natural light. And well, the landlady designed and built the, pretty much the apartment herself as she's an architect. So it has a lot of nice details. Um, it has underfloor heating, which is pretty cool. There's an AC unit in here in the bedroom, and I'm gonna show you around in a minute but well that's basically it uh, uh, you know for an overview alright so let's get started so I'm gonna come back here to the front door to give you a quick overview again alright so upon entrance to the right we have the bathroom and then to the left we have the actual you know the rest of the apartment here's the living room this door right here is bedroom number one Right here is the kitchen. And then bedroom number two is right there on the, on the other side of the living room. All right, so I'm gonna come back here to the uh, bathroom so you can see it first. So the washing machine is outside. So, um, you know, it's right here so you don't have to worry about going to uh, dry cleaning or anything. It's right here on the apartment, so that's good. All right, and well, there's the shelf basically for all the cleaning stuff. So it's cool. It's good that everything is in here organized. So stuff, the stuff is not all over the apartment. And then the bathroom, well, it's a full bathroom, of course, and it has double sink, which is super useful. All right, here's a toilet and a nice shower cabin. All right, there's a window that goes to an interior patio. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. And then, well, there's the sink, the nice mirror. All right, so let's keep going. Before I go into the living room and kitchen, I'm gonna show you bedroom one. Uh, both bedrooms uh, head to the street, so they're super bright as you can see. There's a single bed on this one. And well, there are two drawers down below, but they only one of them is empty. They're pretty big, but this one is empty. The other one has bed linen and towels and all that. So just for you to know, uh, but the, there's actually enough storage space on bedroom one, I mean on bedroom two, but well, at least there are two drawers in here and there's also this standalone closet unit that as well has some of the towels, bed linen and other uh, fabrics, but well. Alright, and then on this other side there are a couple of shelves, there's this long desk, which is super useful either for working or studying. Right, and then well each bedroom has a uh, balcony so I'm gonna show you the views now that I'm outside so again this is Calle del Angel as you can see uh, well there's a supermarket just right there I think that's a drugstore that's a bar another bar but as you can see it's super quiet so that's pretty good it's just that you know on those dates I told you on mid-August that there's you know the street itself become Maybe a little bit uh, noisier, but should be okay. But the views are really nice as you can see The, the buildings in front are nice, so That's pretty good All right, so here's another view of Bedroom one from this corner All right next is the kitchen Is fully equipped all right here's the, fr uh, the fridge Right. It also has a freezer. 
here's the dishwasher here's the nice sink which is big and deep very use useful here's the gas stove the oven and then the silverware is in here there are a couple of pans in there and then the pots down here Right. And then on um, these cabinets on top, we have all the plates and bowls. And on this one, we have the glasses, cups, mugs. There's a coffee maker. And then you even have more space up here. All right, they're empty at the moment. You just, you know, if you're not tall enough, you might need like a little uh, step or something, but well, you have all these four cabinets up there, so there's plenty of storage space just here in the kitchen and same here on top of the fridge. All right. All right, so let me give you another view of this nice kitchen. There's a dining table with, uh, well, there are three chairs in here, two more there, another one, another one here in the in bedroom one. Bedroom one, All right? And well, here's the interior patio again. There's not much to see, but well, at least you can open the window and let some of the you know the air flow from the interior patio into the exterior, All right? And then, well, on this wall, there's uh, there are shelves basically all over the wall in here, there, and up there. And then the living room itself has a sofa bed. There's that furniture for the TV, but there's no TV, right? And one thing I noticed is that there are a lot of plugs. So that's really helpful if you have a lot of appliances or things to connect to electricity. There are many plugs all over the, the apartment. So that's nice as well. All right, here's a view from this corner of this nice living room. All right, and well, as you can see, the bedroom, I mean, the living room has two balcony doors. So that's pretty nice. That means that it's super bright in here. I'm going to move to this corner to give you another view from here. All right, and well, of course, we have the same views I just showed you. All right, the AC unit is up here. And like I said, uh, the heating is on the floor. Right, and last but not least, we have bedroom two, which is a lot bigger than bedroom one. It has a nice double bed in there, as you can see, a couple of nightstands on each side, as well as the lamps. There's a balcony that goes, of course, to the same street. All right, and then there's a built-in closet unit. It's almost as a walk-in closet unit. All right, uh, well, there are two huge doors down here, down here. And you have all those hangers, all these shelves. There's a window that goes to the interior part I just showed you. Right now the window is shut, but again, not much light comes from there. And then on this other side, there are just more drawers, shelves, hangers, and well, there's a mirror right there. Right, so here's another view again of bedroom two. Very bright. You have pretty nice views actually. You know, it's the view from from the bed is not bad at all. You have lots of natural light in the apartment, so that's pretty good. All right, so well, double beat guys again. A nice two bedroom apartment located in Calle del Angel. Like I said, in the neighborhood of La Latina in between the metro stations of La Latina and Puerta de Toledo. And even from here to the main center, let's say to Sol, it's not gonna take you more than 20 minutes walking. Again, the area is, is super uh, popular, many bars and stores and things to do around. So I hope you liked it. All right, thanks for watching, bye.